The Mississippi River dumps its Mississippi juice into the ocean right here, in a delta below the city of New Orleans. But it's not actually supposed to do that. In fact, the Mississippi River should enter the ocean here and be shaped like this. The only reason it doesn't is because the US government has spent billions of dollars over several decades to make sure that it stays on this exact course, but how do they do that, and why exactly do they care so much? Well, let's zoom out a bit. This is the United States of America, which is a very large rock that has lots of bears on it, and this is the Mississippi River, which is a river. Ever since there were people on this continent who wanted to move stuff, this river was important. For thousands of years, it served as America's wet, primordial highway system, being one of the most efficient ways of moving people and cargo in, out, and around the greatest country in the United States. It became particularly useful during the Industrial Revolution, when Americans had bigger things to move and bigger ships to move them, but there was a bit of a problem. The Mississippi River was not designed to turn the cogs of capitalism. It was only designed to make water go whoosh. The real trouble was right here, on the border of Mississippi and Louisiana. When America was first settled by indigenous populations, the Mississippi flowed more or less straight into the ocean, but as time wore on and the river got older, it also, like all of us, got a little curvier, and one such curve was this, Turnbull's Bend, where the Mississippi cut across to intersect with the nearby Red River. This detour took hours to navigate, and mathematicians at the time had just discovered that time equals money, so a river engineer by the name of Henry Schrapp said, hey, let's just dig a channel straight from here to here, I bet that won't cause any massive logistical problems in the future, I don't even know what I'm saying, why are you writing all this down, just go dig the stupid channel already. So in 1831, they went ahead and dug a channel, which was great because they could move crates of pecans slightly faster, but was bad because the river started to slowly and irreversibly change shape in a way that would devastate the US economy and potentially kill tens of thousands of people. But hey, everyone makes mistakes, and I'd be lying if I said I'd never accidentally caused an ecological catastrophe by digging a canal in Louisiana without considering its long-term effects. So let's talk about what exactly the problem is and how the government has scrambled to keep it under control. You see, when the canal was dug, this part of the river pretty much dried up, and the flow from the Mississippi into the Red River created a shiny new river called the Atchafalaya. Great, everyone loves a new river, but the problem was that this river naturally has a much shorter and steeper path to the Gulf of Mexico, and over time, more and more of the Mississippi started to flow this way instead of this way. By the 1950s, the government realized that if they didn't do something, the Mississippi would completely change course and divert into the Atchafalaya, which both sounds bad and is bad. Problem number one, all the ports from here to here, including the major cargo ports of Baton Rouge and New Orleans, stop working. No more water means no more ports, no more ports means no more exporting soybeans, and no more exporting soybeans means, I, I don't know, a whole bunch of people lose a whole bunch of money? Problem number two, all 1.5 million people living in this general area no longer have drinking water. While it might not be immediately clear why this is a problem, studies have shown that people need to drink water to live, and from this we can conclude that cutting off the water supply for Louisiana's two largest cities would be a bad thing. Problem number three, while it sure seems like the people around here enjoy the water from the Mississippi River, that doesn't necessarily mean that water would be welcome over here. In fact, most of Morgan City and Berwick would end up pretty much destroyed in the process. Okay, so assuming you were in the pro-drinking water and anti-Morgan City being destroyed in a devastating flood, I probably convinced you that it would be bad if the Mississippi changed course. So how exactly have we stopped it from doing that? Well, in the early 1960s, the US Army Corps of Engineers went ahead and constructed something called the Old River Control Structure right here, where Turnbull's Bend used to be. In order to control the flow of the Mississippi into the Atchafalaya, they slapped a navigation lock down here and a floodgate up here. The floodgate maintains a flow of 30% this way and 70% this way to match the flow of the river when the structure was originally built, thus preventing it from, you know, doing the bad thing. They later added a second floodgate here to reduce the impact on the first floodgate and a hydropower plant here so that this whole thing feels like it actually does something besides waste billions of dollars undoing a decision that some guy made 200 years ago before they had invented the concept of consequences. But hey, you know what else has catastrophic consequences? Not eating right. If you're a busy person like I am, you might know that maintaining a healthy diet while juggling the rest of your life is a struggle, but with Factor, it doesn't have to be. Factor is a weekly meal prep service that delivers fresh, healthy, ready-to-eat meals straight to your doorstep. Every single week, you get to choose from 35 different meals, each designed and prepared by registered dietitians and chefs working hand-in-hand -hand to make sure everything is both nutritious and delicious. And no matter what your lifestyle is, Factor will have a meal plan that works for you, like keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, or vegan and veggie. 
Factor is owned by HelloFresh, which I've used for years, so when I learned that they had a pre-prepared meal service, I had to try it out, and it turns out I genuinely love it. If you don't believe me, this is what I literally had for dinner the night I recorded this video. Factory's cheesy bacon ranch shredded chicken. It only took minutes to heat up, and yeah, it rocked. Like, you probably think this tastes similar to a prepared meal from a grocery store, but it is so, so much more delicious and flavorful since they're freshly prepared and never frozen. Even though I'm away from home a lot, Factor's flexible scheduling makes it easy for me to get meals when I want them and to skip weeks when I'm gone. So if you want to start eating healthy without the hassle of meal prep, I can't recommend Factor enough. Just head to factor75.com and use code HAI50 to get 50% off your first Factor box.